Hello, YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Prison Architect Strategy and Tactics, Episode 6. So, in our last episode, we are, uh, well, we're getting our, uh, um, our stuff going here. We also just, uh, have, are having everybody upgrade themselves to, uh, body armor. Uh, so we are having a little bit of a shift. I kind of wish you guys had waited for nighttime on that. Um, I mean, it's not like the taser rollout where stuff, uh, um, can be scheduled, but yeah. Oop. Uh, power, power, power. Oh, yeah, I guess we need direct connection since we move the servo. Derp to derp. This one's, yeah, that one's doing okay, though. Fair enough. Gardener, you, why, why, why are you doing that? Um, well, fair bit of other things that I want to do. Paving stone. Let's get our central pathway up along here properly. We can also, now that we've uh, increased this, get our yard properly defined um, further up here and further up here. That way they know that, yes, you have a larger yard now. Oh, and we can do it over here too. That's all part of the yard. Soon it will encapsulate the entirety of our central cell block here. And will somebody please let people in or out or something? Somebody? Anybody? Bueller? Have I not hooked this one up yet? All right, good. That that's working now. You know, I think what I might do now that once I uh, get everything sort of repositioned in here, uh, and I do need to do some repositioning, like this cooker, we need to dismantle. Um, I kind of want to put the door over here, uh, so we might need to dismantle this fridge. Uh, oh, and Sniffy Woofums has. Uh, you can finally get that before. Ooh, poison in the uh, staff uh, meals here. Yeah, see, this is why we have the outside uh, dog checking everything, sniffing everything that, that might be coming inside. All right, we got our cells uh, thing set up. I think it is time to copy pasta ourselves into them. Um, that way they can be ready to go for tomorrow morning, because I do hope to take in a new set of prisoners tomorrow, but um, that will involve some stuff. Also, I do need to set my regime, um, but first let's do some copy pasta, shall we? First, let's grab the northern cells. Same, same as the other cells that we've been doing here. Certainly have the cash for it. All right, and then southern cells. There and there and there. Perfect. I also just realized we need some lights in here. Just to brighten things up just a touch. Can't be can't have it be too gloomy. Alright, it is free time. It looks like everyone's doing their uh, prayer thing. Oh yeah, we were just transitioning to the work lockup. That's why everyone was doing that. I should probably put a CCTV in here. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, let's see. Objects, CCTV... Wait, that's a bench. That's not a CCTV. I want my CCTV. There we go. Always watching you, preacher. A higher power, if you will. Should probably put one in the cleaning cupboard, too. Just to, just to be sure. Just because we have inmates coming in and out of there. <laughs> Released! 
Curtis gets released. <laughs> oh, Curtis. What you got, buddy? Anything? All right, you're cool. Boy, that would that that would if I were an inmate and I'd just been paroled and uh, they they decided to release me and I, the thing goes off like no. No, no. The funny thing is, is even if he was carrying something illicit, his sentence is still over. So he it kind of gets it as a freebie. All right, is this working? That's working. All right. Yeah, all of our guys are coming on here. Early release reward. There you go. There you go. Early release. Good behavior. And yeah, that's the. Um... Oop. No, what am I doing? There we go. All right, we've moved these things. Let's get the door situated here. And I'm going to make it a remote door. We will uh, dismantle this normal door. We will also um, dismantle this um, detector um, so that we might move it over. So for a brief moment, we will be a little bit uh, less protected. But at the very least, we can reuse some of our objects. Taking a while to dismantle that thing, sheesh. But it's worth it in the end. Now, it's going to seem weird to have two of these metal detectors so close to each other, but because of the way the goods flow in, uh, it's worth it to, uh, to uh, make it that way, just to make sure everything gets properly scanned. Okay, a uh, metal detector. Right there. Drugs in the, uh, drugs in the soup. That is some awesome, oh, I forgot the door servo. Poop. Der, der, der servo must be placed properly. But right now we are vulnerable. So let's, um, let's patch this up. Should also probably get, yeah, the bin over here. And then once Der Servo is uh, in place, then we can hook it up. And then we have a walking door once somebody gets the garbage out of the way. Somebody please take the garbage out of the way so the door can close. I can't even prioritize them moving that. The camera is ironically something of suspect. Would you someone just grab that piece of garbage and take it with you on the way out? Come on. Now we have all of our utilities, yeah, all of our utilities are set. It's just a matter of getting all the equipment in before uh, next prison intake, which is, I think we can handle. Now once everyone goes to bed, that's when I'm going to reset my regime. Yeah, look at this army of cooks here. Got people using the phone, got people going here. We're good, we're good, but we've got, we've got even more planned. Should have probably put this in the wall, but I don't think it really matters one way or the other. 
Ooh. Did you guys see that? I think they were able to sneak through that corner. All right, we can't be having that brick wall right here. Just to make sure that that gets scanned properly. Uh, this fridge is blocking people, so let's dismantle. And actually, let's dismantle this cooker because it's facing the wrong way. And let's see here. Um, we do want a fridge. I think that's the proper way to... It's hard to tell with the fridges. It's really hard to tell. So pardon me if I get it wrong. Yeah, look at all these dirty dishes here. But at least it's uh, keeping things... Keeping things occupied nicely. Alright, let's get another bin down here. Alright, you go that way, you go that way. And I think, yeah, what the hey, we'll get another bin in here. Can never have too many bins. And that should do it for our kitchen. This kitchen should be able to supply pretty much everything when it comes to, uh, oh yeah, our CCTV. We can have them monitor them. And we gotta go watch the holy man. All right. You know, there's construction up here in this hallway. Work lockup. Got our uh, got our parole people cooking through here. Where is that guy going? He's like sprinting. Yeah, there you go. Mop up the uh, canteen. That could always use a, a little additional help. Boy, we're letting people letting people out left and right. Well, I think we'll have enough food for everybody at this point. Yeah, another uh, another person is released. And once he gets off the map, we'll get uh, paid for uh, for that early release. So it might look like we're losing money here, but we're not because we're getting all these early release fees, um, and we're going to be getting a butt ton more money with uh, the intake coming in anyway. Yeah, look at all these prison laborers here. I like it. I like it a lot. Because these guys could definitely use the help. Plenty with laundry. Uh, cleaning cupboard. We could add a third. But I don't want to take it away from... Uh, I don't want to take away from... Uh, that. And bird. Bird is the word. What you got going here, bird? You trying to pull something? Trying to smuggle out a knife? Nope, he's trying to <laughs> he's trying to smuggle out a spoon. Dangerous in its own right. Oops, and the bacon block uh, uh, black here. Cameo black. You got something, ba Cameo black? No one's coming to inspect you. Here he comes. What you trying to smuggle out, Cameo? Yeah, overheating. Yeah, it's a little hot in that kitchen. A knife! 
Man, you were doing so well in there, but temptation got the better of you. I don't know why that guard just didn't escort him into his cell. You're going to miss mealtime. Well, at least you can get that sleep that... Oh, God. These guys can't be... These guys keep getting tempted to take stuff. And they keep leaving the trays out. Here we got a fork up here. Let me guess. A knife, a fork, or a, uh, a spoon from you. Oh, no cigarettes. Oh! Ha! <laughs> Normally, metal detectors don't detect cigarettes, but um, I guess it was a false alarm, but he was carrying something anyway. Poison. See, this is the other reason why I don't like using um, solitary for my punishments, but rather lockups. Like, here we have a whole butt down of five people in lockdown um, because of misbehaviors. Uh, we would have had to have five solitary cells to properly punish them all. But here, how many punishment um, avenues do we have? As many cells as we have. If everyone in the freaking prison misbehaves, we can lock and punish everybody so um that that that's the other reason why i am not terribly fond of the uh of that uh, particular uh, that you know using solitary as punishments all right um yeah all of these um things are are set ready to go so here's what we're gonna do uh logistics uh, no, deployment. Uh, medium sec only. That is what this, this cell block is defined as. We are only going to store medium security people here. That's, that is our, that is our thing. So, all the people that are going to be coming in, um, we've got 15 minimum security and only six, uh, normal security just because we don't have it built up yet. We don't have the available built up because we haven't had the ratio going yet. But, Come tomorrow, after the day after, anyway, uh, that's when we're going to have, um, you know, more, uh, we're going to have more, more medium sec people filling up that block, and we're going to be expanding that block as well. Uh, now then, with the inclusion of our medium security people, we need to re revise our regime. And not only for our, 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 just the whole prison, but we are actually going to be splitting it up um, just a bit here. And so I'm going to go back to my little handy dandy notepad here, and we're going to get into some rotating regimes. Uh, right then, so let's let's start off with our friends, the uh, the low, the minimum security. So we are actually, yeah, we are going to purposely split up a. Um, uh, the, the the minimum security and the normal security regime. Um, so um, we are going to have them shower, lock up at nine. Of course, the shower, I mean, it might as well just be lock up, lock up for them. Lock up, lock up. Um, then we will send them to eat at ten. And we're going to have two blocks of free time after eat. Uh, the, main, the main reason why I'm only giving them an hour in the morning is that because everyone's in their cells and their, everyone's cells are in such a close proximity to the canteen, the chances, chances are everyone's going to get a chance to eat in the morning. Um, so I want to give them two blocks of free time after that. Um, after those, uh, those two blocks of free times, we're going to have three blocks of work slash lockup. Um, and then we're going to do one, two, three blocks of yard. Um, now, after the yard, we're going to go back to eating and a little free time. This time I'm going to give them two blocks of eating, um, mainly because they're going to probably be scattered around and, and might not. Uh, it might take them a little while to get in there. So we'll give them a little bit more time to eat and then one a little bit less t uh, free time all said and done. Um, and then after their second meal of the day... Um, we're going to do work, work, and work. 
Um, and then, yeah, we'll uh, have them go to sleep. Sleepy time. Lock up, sleep, 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 sleep. Lock up to take their showers and whatnot. I mean, I'll I'll define this as a shower just to sort of prompt them to take their showers, but it's essentially the same thing. Um, all right. Now, for our normal security people, these people are going to be doing essentially the same exact schedule, but back three hours. Um or four or three hours, depending on which way you're looking at it. So they are going to wake up at six with a shower. Nice, nice cold or hot shower, rather. Um, wake them up at six. We're going to do an eat with a pair of free times. Like that. Um, then they get three hours of working. Then three hours of yard. And then we're going back to eat. Oop, not, not three things of eat, just two things, two hours of eat. Then back to work. And then we will um, uh, send them to their cells and tell them to go to sleep. Since they wake up earlier, they have to go to bed earlier. So they still get the same amount of sleep. They still get the same amount of eat time. They still get the number of, of different instances of, of being able to eat. They still get the same amount of yard time, the same amount of work time. It's just on a different cycle. So that's how everything's going to be going from now on. And just you wait till we get to the max sec, people. All right, everyone is going sleepy time. Oh, well, that's ugly. We just had some junk sitting on there. Now, as far as expanding out our stuff here, um, one other thing I've been thinking of doing here is um, expanding out the rest. Now that we're getting more, more and higher security uh, people out there, we need to really ramp up uh, the security of our prison as a whole. Now, there's a, the, the, primary, uh, the primary weakness to our current design as it sits right now is that, you know, for all the protections we have on tunnelers out here, there's nothing protecting them from just tunneling out one square this way and saying ta-ta. Secondly, because these, uh, this par these parts of the yard and this part of the yard is exposed to within 10 tiles of a, of a, of a perimeter fence here, uh, or rather in this case, just a regular fence, uh, people can still, um, shot put uh, contraband invisibly shot put contraband over the fence uh, for people to collect in the yard um, so that it still remains an avenue for incoming contraband so that being said let's finalize the design here and get this castle of a prison finally fortified that's right my friends we are going to go building here and we are going to do everything we're going to build you all the way out to here. Oop. Yep, 11. We're building you all the way up here. And we're going to build you all the way down like this. Um, as far as an entrance goes, um, yeah, I know that took a chunk of change off of me here. Um, I think what I'll do is, um, just to keep things fast paced. Oh, I can't, I can't paving stone this area, can I? Mm. 
Well, what I want to avoid is I don't want to take down these fences because we still need to maintain this and they're not going to finish all of this before everyone wakes up. Uh, so obviously we don't want a an avenue for people to get in. Um, so that being said, I think, uh, actually, I think our best um, course of action here would be to do, let's do like a staff door. We can do a staff door here. Um, or staff, yeah, yeah, staff door here would help them, uh, sort of get all their stuff around there. I mean, it would be sort of an avenue to escape for inmates. So actually let's do a staff door up here because no inmates can get in there. So that way they can toil away, uh, while, uh, while our inmate inmates will play. But yeah, this will certainly keep them busy. Oh yeah, now that I've uh, defined this, let me just check to see if I can do this. Yeah, see, now that we've sort of encapsulated this, we can make this outdoor area staff only so that inmates have absolutely no reason to be outside and will be apprehended uh, if they attempt to go outside, with the obvious exception of, uh, of them arriving for you know, new intakes or what have you. Um, also, let me make sure, uh, let me go back to my policies here. Yeah, no, not high, high. Meal quantity, medium. Oh, wait, no, sorry, yeah. And then meal variety, high. This cuts down significantly on the cost of our food um, for to, to feed our prisoners. It still provides a smaller well-fed buff, which is important both for concentration and, and them passing uh, reform programs and also them uh, getting the buff enough to improve their health rating. If we look at a random, uh, a random prisoner here, let's see if we can find one of our, uh, one of our, uh, one of our friends, one of our, uh, yeah, you're still sleeping away. All right. Yeah. Shona Bellamy. Um, if we look at their grading here, their health score um, is improved by how often they're well fed. Um, so the more we can keep them well fed, the higher their health score, the lower their reoffend uh, chance is. Um, now, yeah, their reform class, their reform score is not so good, but you're you're still working on those that that general education one. Um, and then, yeah, the more the more punishments you can give them, the better here. Oh boy, here comes the great chase again. All right, where where are these guys start? All right, they're starting from the south, which is fine. Again, we're not taking these fences down, so the this construction is not a liability. We're also going to get a butt ton more uh, wood coming in. Um, we can we can store the wood outside at least for the time being. Uh, that's not really a source of uh, of contention here. So let's go get ourselves a storage, and we'll just keep it on the uh, on the outside here. Just for the time being, we'll be pressing it properly into service soon enough. But for the time being, since we're going to be cutting down the rest of the ambient trees here, we might as well uh, get those all set. Oh, why'd we lose a bunch of... Uh... Oh, because they were previously going to be putting in uh, minimum security prisoners in this section. But once we renamed it as uh, as medium sec, we are getting fewer of the minimum sec security Oh no, a fork! A fork was hidden in the food! How dare them, those bastards!
All right, so we're not going to be getting a ton more prisoners in, but I think tomorrow is when the the intake will realize, oh crap, this guy's actually handling medium sec. Let's let's offer up more medium sec people, and then we'll properly fill out this little block. And then by that time, we'll have all this built out, um, and we can start building out more prisoner blocks here. Uh, and yes, all of the all of these sort of thick walls here will be hollow. For the time being, we will properly populate them in due time. Wow, five prisoners are up for parole. Talk about a revolving door here. Sheesh. All right, more food coming in. And yeah, this is why I wanted so many fridges. Is when you have a high variety uh, setting, it takes a lot more fridge space. Uh, because, you know, each different type of food needs to have its own storage uh, boxes here. Uh, and then you need different cookers to cook it all. So having this expansive kitchen here is required to do the, the uh, high variety meal types properly. Uh, but it's worth it because they need to pr pr produce less food um, overall compared to... Uh, uh, compared to a three and three, or if we were doing it the other way, it would take up less kitchen space if we had a lower variety. Oop, and here comes the, uh, here comes the inmates. Our, uh, group O, uh, our groups right here. Um... One other thing to note, and I forgot to mention this, is when you build a reception building, the bus that carries the prisoners will always stop parallel to the lowest part of the reception. So the bus actually stops right over here. So you can use that to plan things out. All right, we got our strip searches going here. And we got our uh, we got our armed guard uh, sitting here um, exerting. Wow, he is ten kinds of pissed off. And we got the, we got a couple of winners here. What environment? Why why is your environment so bad? Like it's not dirty. We we've had guys sweeping in here. I do hope you know you're allowed to leave and go on break, dude. Although I I appreciate you sticking it out right here. Oh, that actually reminds me. Um, we do need to hire a couple more armed guards um, just so that we can have some extras so them for them to go on break. So let's actually get a couple more guard lockers here. Like that. Um, and that way we can have four armed guards, 25% on break. So we'll have three jobs for them to do and one will always be on break, which is fine. We want our armed guards nice and rested. Yeah, just sit there, Paul. What you got for me, Paul? Ooh, manslaughter. Yeah, this is. Uh, you start getting into some of the heavier, um, the heavier ones when, uh, yeah, when when you have higher higher security here. Twenty years for manslaughter. All right. Um, can somebody come do a security, please? Or, eh, all right, fine. I'll hire an extra guard. Usually, that's my signal that I have. I don't have enough free roaming guards. That, um, you know, somebody is uh, is away from the door opener thing. Because you always want to have those uh, those guys up there. All right, it is free time, uh, so all of our see, see how much less wasted food there is compared to uh, compared to some of these others. Oh, the other thing, the other nice thing is um, with uh, with these later eat times. Um, you know, these guys get to go there. So, you guys, what are you working as? Oh, that's the other thing. The um, uh, we need to set the programs now. We need to reset them. Let me pause here real quick because we need to offer programs like, for example, the culinary sanitation program. Oh, yeah. We also need to get more grants. Um, yeah, let's get long term investment. And cell block B. Cell block B is definitely going to be hit pretty soon. Actually, I think we already hit cell block B. 
yeah, we already we already hit cell block B, uh, which means we can take cell block C. Okay. Um, what was I? Oh yeah. So let's uh, let's before we end the episode here, let's go to our programs and make sure that um, there's there's enough of them. So. Um, We need to make sure that each block of time has um, has has some stuff available. Um, so one p.m. to three. Let's 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 focus on. Uh, we want the classes to be in the evening. So seven p.m. and ten p.m. are going to be our cl our respective classes. Uh, so let's go back to our programs here. Edit, uh, edit schedule. This is this is where you um, all right. So foundation education here. Yeah, yeah. You go down here. And you go down here. Oh, you go down here. Kitchen and safety will make sure that um, each uh, each group gets a gets a chance to do that. Spiritual guidance can stay there. Parole hearings are fine. You can keep doing parole hearings like that. Infirmary staff only. Oh, the the infirmary is staff only. Uh, and that's why they can't do those. But we want to get the drug, uh, the drug stuff here. So I guess we'll have to make the infirmary shared, as much as it is against my better judgment. Uh, can we get? Yes, we can get the uh, no regime time slot. What you talk about, Willis? Pharmacological treatment at midnight. Let's put you at noon. We can do a second one. Um, pharmacological treatment at... Um, uh, for in case we have, uh, yeah, in case we have kitchen and safety people who are also drug addicts, we can we can sort of schedule it there. Um, now, what is going on with foundation education? Program is outside a valid work regime. 10 p.m. It's a three-hour block, right? Yeah, 10 p.m. 10 p.m. to 11 a.m. I wonder if it doesn't like it crossing midnight, though. In that case, we're going to have to uh, move it back a bit. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't like it crossing the midnight barrier, so. We're going to have to put it uh, against these. We'll cut that one there, though. There we go. Are there any other programs that we can put in? Alcoholic uh, therapy, group therapy? We'll start that. Oh, yeah, we don't have the... Oh, yeah, the guard taser certification. Yes. Uh, we will... Let's pause here. Just to make sure this rolls itself out in the proper time slot. Where is the... Oh, uh, yeah. Let's roll that out at 1 a.m. When everyone is otherwise occupied. That should do nicely. Uh, 
All right, let's uh, let's see how we're doing. Let's see how. Oh yeah, one last thing I forgot to do, um, and then I'll then I promise I'll end the episode is get ourselves our guard patrols here. Just as with the others, one guard, one guard, just keeping an eye on the new areas. We have that for the others, right? Right. Good. Excellent. Okay, folks. So, um, I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, and our and our uh, introduction to uh, uh, our um, medium security friends here. Hopefully, they won't cause us too much problem. I'm sure they won't. I'm sure they'll all behave and they'll be nice and nice and not make any problems for anybody. <laughs> Uh, so if you uh, like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!